Let's talk about you people. What do you mean, you people? Nope, not the legendary line from one of the funniest movies ever made. I'm talking about these people and the movie they made. This movie isn't a good movie and the internet already said that. But what the internet didn't say is this movie is a hot garbage. Okay, that's harsh. It's really bad though. The only good thing about this movie is Eddie Murphy. That's it. I swear to God, I'm not even joking. He is literally the only good thing about this movie. I effing love Jonah Hill in most of the movies he's been in. But man, he dropped the ball here. He was so bad in this movie. I mean, this is the same guy in Wolf of Wall Street, This Is The End, 21 Jump Street, and a lot more great movies. And why the hell does he look like a depressed coke dealer? I think the supporting actors made him look bad. But either way, he sucked here. Now, most movies start with a good scene. I said most movies, not all. There are some great movies that start slow. I get it. This movie though started with this guy or girl or man or woman. Hey, what's your boy's name? Yeah. Uh, my name is Mo and I have titties. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm sis. I'm Mo. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, did you know that Mo had titties? Yeah, they're on her chest. Look, I don't want to be cancelled. Okay, let me start again. This movie started with this human. BAM! Nailed it! Okay, this actor sucks. Like, really, really sucked. And that's also one of the reasons why this movie sucked. You see, they went with the liberal all-inclusive agenda. And it blew up in their faces. They also did blow in the movie for some reason. Andrew Shows was there. Hey, Andrew. <laughs> I get it though. It's a bachelor party in Vegas in a strip club. Great stuff. Not! And then Lauren London, who was also bad here. A lot of Nipsey homage in this movie, like the marathon store and his music all over the movie. At some point I was like, did she write or produce the movie? She didn't. I checked. Surprisingly though, Julia Lewis and David Duchovny were actually good in this movie. They played their role well. To be honest, they actually played it very well. Julia got a moderate number of scenes though, but David didn't. I really wish David did too. His obsession with Exhibit was hilarious. I honestly blame Jonah Hill for this bad movie because he wrote and produced it. Like I get it, he loved the hip hop and black culture in general. But this was not a good way to portray it. I mean, all he had to do was expand the scenes with him and Ice Cube's family in 22 Jump Street and he would have nailed it. How do you know this person? Dad, this is Doug, a guy that I'm dating. The fuck? I have. How's your classes going, Doug? Yes, here's the neighborhood. And... I have an idea. Why don't we all sit together? Would that be fun? Yes, thank you. Do you two know each other? No. It's crazy, all these uh, students and parents, pot potential wit witnesses. Still love to instill Jump Street to this day. I just feel like this movie was a good idea that was mismanaged. The core story has so much potential but they somehow screwed it up. If you haven't seen the movie, go and see the movie. Uh, it's, it's still relatively new and uh, you know, I'm not just being a hater. So I'm actually more pissed off that the movie is bad. So uh, because I, the trailer looked interesting but for some reason, I, I don't know. It just, uh, it's just an unfortunate situation. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for the video. And uh, like and subscribe and uh, yeah, I will see you on the next one. Peace.